Okay, what we're going to do now uh, on this uh, Carrier 398 furnace is we're going to remove this inducer. And I'll just kind of show you how it comes off. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not real uh, complex. But I will pull some screws out and then we'll take a look at uh, how this thing comes out. Okay, before we get too much farther, I wanted to note something here. This is a water drain that comes off of the uh, vent pipe, because the vent pipe comes right out here, or it could come out here. Uh, that drain, uh, it's plastic. This, is, this whole thing is plastic. And a lot of these early plastic uh, drains, the, uh, it was not hard for these things to break off. And we broke a lot of these silly things off. I used to carry uh, uh, super glue with me to try to fix these stupid things. But some of these earlier plastics were not so good, and they would break off pretty easy. And we'll see how this one does. I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, it's come off all right. Okay, we pretty much got all the brackets off this thing. We're going to remove this. Okay. And you can see the blower there. Uh, the one thing I did not have to take off on this thing, because it was already broke, was that. That's the drain. I told you about this plastic breaking. That's what happened to this one, and I'll show you what the result was down below. Like you can see on that uh, blower, we've had a lot of uh, condensate drop on there. Remember this condensate has carbolic acid and probably a little bit of sulfuric acid in it, so it's pretty hard on this. Uh, the pipe that we were concerned about is right here. And you can see the fitting has just broken off there. And uh, that's uh, probably why this furnace was uh, was replaced, because the inducer is going to cost you in the neighborhood of uh, oh, 300 and some dollars, probably. Okay, when you're uh, if you are installing a new inducer or reinstalling one because you took one off for whatever reason. There's a gasket here. I wouldn't count on this gasket being any good anymore. Uh, looks like this one's kind of melted. It don't look so good. Uh, high temp silicone. I always put high temp silicone on this uh, around this whole thing before I put it back on. If I put it back on. Okay, here we're looking at the secondary heat exchanger manifold. These are made out of plastic and like the inducer and there were a lot of uh, cracks on these things and the like on these early ones uh, so you might want to inspect those if you got a leak around those things and that's it for uh, the inducer